Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to the Let's Play of Shining Force 2. This is Kjack. Uh, let me move my mouse off there, sorry. <laughs> if, uh, if you noticed that we started slightly different uh, from where the video left off, just a little tad, or if you noticed that uh, any of the character levels are slightly off, we ran into a uh, little bit of a problem uh... with uh... my freaking save file i had to uh... revert to a previous save file and uh... do a i think it was two fights that i had to do um... to catch back up it got corrupted somehow i'm unsure but uh... for the most part everything's pretty much the same uh, like I said, it was only like two fights, so pretty much everyone's still the same levels, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I just thought I'd let you guys know if any of you uh, sharp eyes noticed and were wondering. Boy. We're, uh in the cave of darkness currently fighting the hobgoblin making our way uh, to Mount Volcano uh, gonna throw Kiwi back in the corner making our way to uh, Mount Volcano to uh, take on or to kinda escort uh, Peter back and also uh, to try and make alliances Yada yada yada, so on and so forth. And if you've noticed, uh, we're doing pretty well with our leveling. Uh, everyone's pretty stable across the board. Uh, we've kind of uh, stopped having our huge problems with Slade, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, it's always good when he's not getting wrecked actually doing a decent amount of damage now. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, we're starting to get into the harder parts of the game. Well, not necessarily harder parts of the game, but fights are actually starting to get a little more serious than they were. Enemies are hitting a lot harder than they used to. These, Even these Dark Doors, for instance, on uh, Bowie and Chester... Nine damage on on Bowie and Chester is that's just a shitload for a straight up hit. Uh, ooh, very nice dodge. I actually think the only uh, character we have, uh, not counting Kiwi, that's below twelve, uh, not counting Peter is May, who we just got, so uh, that's that's definitely forgivable. Hopefully Kazin can snatch this kill. He probably won't, though. Yeah. That's fine. Let's snatch the kill with Bowie. Very nice. Trying to squirm our way up to, uh. Just gonna go ahead and stay. I don't want. Chester's already 13. I don't want him taking that kill. And I don't want that Dark Knight whooping up on Kazin or anything. There we go. I actually, uh. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal Chester. Uh, I hope Peter will, uh. Try and fly up in there and steal that kill. Uh, that'd be nice for him to get a little extra experience. I don't want him to be too far behind uh, when we finally do get him in the party. And uh, Slade shouldn't kill... Oh, he did. Never mind. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, 
since Peter hasn't gone, I'm just gonna go ahead and steal it with May. She needs the, uh, the level anyways. Hopefully that'll, uh, give her one. Ah, she should be close now. Ouch. Uh, any of you are wondering about that chest, uh, you can't open chests mid-fight, so we're just gonna have to wait until after. It's no big deal, I just thought I'd, you know, add that to the pot. Damn high magic resist, people. Throw Chester out there even more. Oh gosh, he hits too hard. Don't want Sarah getting insta-gibbed. Aha! Little son of a bitch. I might have spoken a little too soon, uh... I honestly haven't... We haven't really gotten to a fight that's just been, uh, difficult yet. Um... I'm hoping that'll change. Uh, the next fight, I, I don't really foresee it being that difficult, but uh, it might give us a little bit of extra challenge. Um, the fight after that uh, might prove a little more difficult than usual. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of hoping we get into some of the actual harder fights uh, pretty soon. Because, uh, after all, this is ouch mode, and I, I don't want you guys falling to sleep on me here. <laughs> Good news is, at the uh, very least, we are coming up on the Kraken fight soon. So, uh, that, at the very least, is always difficult, or at least painful. So, we'll see how we do there. Yay, detox level two. More uselessness. And a level for May. Very nice. Uh, promotions are actually at uh, level 20, and while you can wait, uh, for instance, in a normal game, I would wait to promote most people, uh, get them a couple more levels and everything, and uh, then promote when I actually start needing to, because uh, when you promote, you revert to level one, and you just go back up again, so you know, you max out your stats by uh, leveling as far as you can for promoting. Ooh, very nice, Jaha, very nice. Uh, but this time around, uh, actually, for almost all characters, uh, their stat growth is higher after promotion, uh, and since we're going to be trying to do this with as little grinding as possible, I want to get as uh, many people as I can promoted as quickly as I can. Try and get all their stats up for the uh, final fight. Still got a bat over there. But uh, if we go up this ramp, he should just come after us, hit us in the side, which shouldn't be that big a deal. Oop. Meant to heal. Webs. Ow.
actually still trying to decide exactly who I want in the party at the end of the game. We're about to come up on uh, two characters. Uh, Peter, of course, we're about to get pretty soon. Um, but we're about to come up on uh, two more characters that uh, may or may not have a place in the party. Uh, one of them... I, I really like as a character. He's he's one of my favorite characters in the game. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure we'll be using him. Uh, like Slade, he can be kind of painful to uh, level up. So, uh, we're going to see on that. And the other character uh, is actually really useful. Um, he's just not, not exceptionally strong. Uh, it, like I say, he can be very useful, he's just not that strong, uh, compared to a lot of other characters. So I'm not entirely sure we're gonna be using him. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll use him for a while, uh, and we're not gonna gimp him like we have, uh, Kiwi. Uh, because he is at least useful until we can, uh, get a replacement for him. But, uh... I, I don't know if we're actually going to be keeping him or not. Because uh, there's a character you get a little later on in the game that is much better than he is at just about everything. So, uh, uh, more than likely, uh, he will be replaced. But we'll see. Go ahead and uh, weaken this hobgoblin up. Damn. Fortunately, that vampire bat doesn't seem intent on a using his AOEs. So we're all pretty clustered over here. Ah, I I say something and curse myself. That's actually fine though. He only hit two characters. He had a much better option there. Ooh. Not really what I would like. Well, she's not going to kill that hobgoblin, so we'll just weaken it some more. I'm really surprised Peter's not running in there and getting more kills. Uh, typically, he's very, very thieving about most of those. Mo most op any opportunity he, ta he can, he uh, will kill an enemy. Uh, typically, so it's rather surprising. It's uh, kind of un unsettling, actually, because uh, usually he's out leveling most of my heroes. Very nice. And Chester's leading the pack at 14. That's good. Okay. Let's uh, grab some items. Got a silver tank. Which is uh, it's a promotion item, I believe, to the, uh, I want to say to the gunner class. Uh, the reason I'm kind of sketchy on that is because I'm not a huge fan of the gunner class. Oops, went the wrong way. Okay. Welcome to Polka Village. It's a bunch of centaurs and other little critters like that. Oop, oop. My bad.
<laughs> I can't actually. Well, I guess I can tell you guys who he is. He is Creed, and you have no idea who he is at the moment, so. That's whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Pressing buttons real fast. Alright, uh, looks like we got quite a few little upgrades here. Uh, we're we gonna go ahead and sell the middle sword. And, uh, what else? We already have daggers. We have a wooden arrow. Uh, so that's. Let me check the spear again. Okay, we already have that. We already have hand axe. So just bronze rods which honestly uh, a lot of people will say that I'm I'm just wasting my money by buying these bronze rods but uh, I like to uh, I don't know r regardless of whether I, I'm actually using the equipment I like to keep up on top of a uh, equipment because honestly I mean if you as long as you're not dying in this game a whole lot uh, then you never have a problem with money so it's whatever hello and little event here he's badly injured I always thought this was a little amusing the uh, mayor of Polka Village, uh, and, and Polka Village is a village filled with Centaur, Beastman, uh, it's directly below uh, Bado, which is uh, the Birdman, you know, establishment. Uh, but despite all of this, the mayor of Polka Village is a typical middle-aged human male. <laughs> oh, he's blind. Poor kid. Well, here we go. <laughs> They've severely misunderstood who we are. <laughs> and it's going to cost them. Although, uh, lots of uh, new enemies in this one. Uh, you get the death monk. Well, I guess not necessarily new enemies. Uh, we have a lot more of the hobgoblins that, or, yeah, five of the hobgoblins that we faced last time around. And as we know, those guys uh, hit like trucks. We do get the uh, introduction of the evil monk, or, or a death monk, sorry, uh, and the death archer and the evil cloud. Um, they're all just uh, stronger versions of their old selves, uh, but they are definitely stronger versions of their old selves. They do hurt quite a bit. Uh, those death monks, especially, if, uh, if I remember correctly, are a lot stronger than you would assume they, they would be. And just sit.
certain kiwi in the back. Oh yeah. Yay, Dispel, which isn't really very useful at all. Honestly, uh, just about the only spell that Kazen gets that really is useful is fire. <laughs> Regrettably, that's pretty much true. Uh, which is actually why uh, there's another uh, there's another mage or wizard later on that most people consider more powerful than uh than fucking I just more powerful than cuz in my my mind just went freaking blank for a second uh and that's because he actually has more attack spells um you get a little bit uh more of a balanced variety although honestly I don't really know that it, it really matters a whole lot. Uh, I guess it's, in all honesty, it's not because of the uh, balance, it's because the mage... Aw, did I not equip? I'll have to check that. Apparently I did not equip his weapon. If I did not... Well, uh, I, I won't say that's actually going to make this fight hard. Because uh, honestly, that's just Bowie and uh, the two mages not having weapons. And that's not really that big a deal. Sucks for Bowie, but whatever. not gonna risk that. I should have, uh, checked to see if he had it on him. I could have equipped it. Not thinking. My bad. Okie dokie. Leave that kill for uh, one of our level 12s, which uh, might just be May, actually. Or if Peter's willing to run over there and steal it, I I'm more than willing for him to have it. Actually, I think I'll just completely ignore this dude. <laughs> Oh, apparently I didn't buy the uh, longsword. That's actually uh, not that big a deal. Um, I want to say Bado has a shop as well, so we'll just hit that one up.
actually love this attack. The uh, the animation there. I love the little. I don't know why. I just love the little glowy force hands that they do. I always thought that was kind of cool. Yes, good job, Peter. And level maybe. Ah, uh, Peter, you're falling behind. Damn it. Chester's actually starting to get pretty wounded. I definitely don't want him to get the kill. That experience is just going to go to waste. <laughs> and Bowie still manages to do six damage with his bare fists. Always impressive. <laughs> And uh, this is actually one of those fights where there is a boss monster on the field and if he dies, everything dies. And uh, that's actually the Death Archer, so we're going to uh, we're gonna be splitting up our group here in a second to make sure we uh, get to kill those three guys on the bottom. Ah, uh, I should have freaking done that from range, my bad. to 14 already. It's definitely a good thing. The faster we get him to his promotion, the better. By far. Actually gonna send uh, Sarah up with that group. Because uh, when that Archer gets involved in the fight, he's going to be hitting very hard. Gotta make sure uh, no one dies while we're doing this. Because uh, I did just talk about not letting characters die that frequently. So uh, I can't have to eat my words. <laughs> I'd like to avoid that. Oh, a uh, little uh, random shout out. Uh, to Sin, if you're watching this, I just got a friend to uh, purchase Tales of Vesperia, and I did it pretty much uh, from just having, you know, talking about it and how good a game you said it was. Uh, so, thought I'd go ahead and mention that. Uh, I'm positive it's a excellent game, so. Woohoo. This is actually one of my favorite uh, backgrounds on Shining Force 2. Uh, not, you know, this map, but the mountainous background. That little bitch hitting over from the side. How dare she? <gasps> I 
Nice. Make sure he can't heal back up to full this time around. And I'm just going to go and kill him off because uh, I don't want to have to deal with his healing ass anymore. Regardless of Chester getting the kill or not. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh no. Ah. That's actually uh, not as much damage as I thought it was going to be. Shame on me. Bang from all sides. It's not good. Okay, go ahead and move him up there. Make a little bit of a front. Trying to buy some time for our bottom to at least finish off the hobgoblin. I don't care so much about the witch. Uh, she's not worth that much experience. But the uh, hobgoblin at least is worth a decent amount of experience, so I don't want that to go to waste. that evil cloud's gonna move in and wreck Slade's face. Uh, hopefully not, but uh, we shall see. Ah, great. Just in time. Go ahead and take a pot shot at this witch. We're uh, saving off on the Death Archer right now. And I'll probably go ahead and finish off the Witch with Chester on his next turn, just for the money. He'll probably only get like one experience off of it. And we're not going to run up there just yet. Chester with a vengeance, but to no avail. We'll finish off the witch. Uh, I'm gonna try and run everyone up there to uh, engage that evil smoke, cause uh, he should be worth a pretty good amount of experience. I don't want to lose out on that or the money. Uh, so. There we go, and figured that would happen. Slade should be able to take it though, uh, even if the smoke gets involved. Uh, so we should be okay. And heal Jaha and then throw him up there. I figured he'd do that. Ouch. very possible that Slade's gonna die um, but we don't have another fight uh, before we get to a priest so that's no big deal ah good job May go ahead and uh, kill off that cloud with Jaha very nice actually I'm probably just gonna run Slade away Unless he has uh, some healing items on him, on himself. Uh, 
that's a waste to move them. Ah, doesn't look like we're going to get the opportunity. That's okay, though. Oh, wow. Survived with one health. He's definitely starting to come into his own. Uh, his uh, damage is actually starting to get back up there. Do a pretty good amount. Uh, and his health is actually... Uh, I, we did have to use a... Uh, uh, what was it? A cheerful bread on him. But uh, that's no big deal. I go ahead and finish this off because I don't want to pay for Slay's death. If we wait, he will die. <laughs> because we're awesome. Holy shit. No, it's not because we have the jewel of evil, damn it. It's because we're awesome. Because I'm awesome. Seriously. And welcome to Bado. And they, everyone is just, you know, on Peter's nuts, sucking up his balls or something, because he's a phoenix, so he is awesome for everyone. Yeah, the devil army. Bitches don't believe me. Tisk motherfucking tisk. I am second. All right, skis. Easily defeated the greater devils. Easily. Yeah, Vulcanon's not actually my favorite person in the world. Uh, <laughs> he's kind of a dick. Not gonna lie. Ah! Yes, here we go. Definitely need to buy that long sword and get it to buoy. And... There we go. Some fucking upgrades for everyone else. Very nice. Okay. Uh, definitely want to grab that steel lance for Chester. He has an open slot. We'll sell off the hand axe for Jaha. Sell off the dagger for Slade. And sell off May's wooden arrow. Very nice weapon upgrades here. Oh, shit. My bad. Okie dokie then. We're gonna hop down and uh, get a save at the priest real fast. Ah! Fuck my quick button pressy. There we go. I believe we only have about 10 or 15 minutes left on this video. Uh, we should be able to finish up here in Bado, but uh, we probably won't Actually, we'll probably make it right to the uh, next fight where we'll have to stop. Uh, so, 
unfortunately that means uh, no new characters uh, this time around I don't think so did we get anyone new we didn't we didn't get anyone new no uh, well actually uh, Peter will be joining us there we go that's what I was looking for and let's go ahead and go up and talk to King Bedo Watch carefully. I would definitely uh, be slightly intimidated by a Birdman army. Welcome, Luke. Luke is actually the uh, character that um, he's a pretty good character, uh, and he's very useful because he's a flyer. Uh, but he's actually a little. Uh, underpowered compared to certain characters so uh, we're probably gonna be using him for a while but not the whole game um, yeah that's who I was talking about earlier oh he will not <laughs> He's like a little kid. Cryptic motherfuckers. Oops, wrong direction. My beds. I always thought this was a nice area. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, God, I love that. All I can honestly say is oops. I mean, our bad. We're trying to fix it. No, but the person who did it is in our party. My lips are sealed on this matter. If uh, any of you are thinking Vulcanon comes off as uh, a bit of a dick, uh, I'm inclined to agree. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Such a cold hearted god. I bet someone's crying inside right now. <coughs> and all I can say is fucking finally. Oh gosh. Now the real brokenness can begin. I 
get some levels on Peter and get him promoted up and then this game is over. Hell yeah, I'm going to kill him as he commanded. Why don't I go see Creed? He's an ex greater devil. I really want to know how you become an ex greater devil. I figured, you know, being being a greater devil is probably like being in the mafia. That's once you're in, you don't get out. I mean, seriously? I'm an ex greater devil. Yeah. But that being said, Creed is a bit of a badass. A weirdo, but a fucking badass. So, you know, fair enough. Ah, we have a little bit of a uh, side quest to do real fast. I can fly, sort of. Oh, oh. This actually has a point, I promise. And I'll explain momentarily. Okay, now we gotta talk to everyone. So sad. Apparently, all the kids in this place have one dad. Okay, that should be it. Uh, pretty sure. Anyways, uh, that little uh, bird that was just flying around up there uh, is actually Screech, who uh, by doing this little uh, side quest thing that we've just done, if I did it right, I might not have... There we go. Uh, by doing that little side quest thing, um, he's gonna, of course I'm pretty sure everyone can guess it, he's gonna land on top of Bowie, saving Screech's life, yay, um, and Screech will actually, uh, before we reach the end of the game, he'll, uh, be an adult bird man and join our party, uh, and he is sad to say phenomenally better than a uh, screech uh, pardon me this is gonna pop over again real fast and uh, I believe that is gonna take us to about an hour um, so I'm gonna initiate this next little section We'll go ahead and go through the dialogue. Oh, fucking owned. And guard Oddler. Oddler is the little blind kid, by the way. Geralt the Wolfman. Geralt is actually one of my favorite characters in this game. I, I just, I love his character model uh, before and after promotion, and he is actually a pretty strong character. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure that we're going to be using him uh, this time around. Uh, more than likely.
likely we will, uh, cause I do typically do, uh, melee heavy groups. I don't know why, I just prefer them. Uh, so, meh. And, uh, we're actually going to, uh, stop this video here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, we'll catch you next time. Later.